Hello, in this video we're going to go over the concept of order. We're going to talk about its definition in number theory, its definition in abstract algebra, and if you stick with me to the end of the video I'll do a math competition example. So first, what is the definition of the order? If you are familiar with groups, we can talk about that directly inside groups, and if you are not familiar in groups, you'll still see that as a number theory problem in high school math competitions and also in college math competitions. So here's the definition. Let n and a be two relatively prime integers, the smallest positive integer m for which a to the power of m is congruent to 1 mod n is called the order of a mod n and is denoted by order of a mod n. Let's look at an example. If you look at the, the order of 2 mod 5, order of 2 mod 5 is 4 because if you look at different powers of 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 2 mod 5. 2 to the power of 1 is 2 mod 5, 2 squared is 4 mod 5, 2 cubed is, you have to multiply the previous one by 2, which gives you 8, which gives you 3 mod 5, and finally 2 to the power of 4 is 16, which is, two, which is 1 mod 5. So that's why the order is exactly 4. Now, the main theorem that we're going to prove is if you have two relatively prime integers, then a to the power of m is congruent to 1 mod n, if and only if the uh, exponent is a multiple of the order. So in other words, not only order is the smallest positive integer, but every other integer that a, a to the power of m is 1 is a multiple of the order. In the language of group theory, it is uh, stated this way. Let a be a, a group element, the smallest positive integer n, for which a to the power of n is identity is called the order of a and is denoted by absolute value of a. If no such positive integer exists, then we say the order of a is infinity and we write down the order of a is equal to infinity. Suppose a is an element of finite order in a group and n is an integer a to the power of n is equal to e if and only if order of a divides n. Since some of you may not be familiar with groups, I'm going to prove the number theory version of this theorem. So the proof in group theory would be the same. So here is the proof. And then if you stick with me to the end of the video, I'll give you an example that appears in math competitions. So I'm going to prove that a to the power of m is 1 if and only if order of a divides m. One direction is kind of obvious, the backwards direction. So if the order of a divides m, that means m is equal to some integer k times the order. Now, if you write down a to the power of m, a to the power of m is a to the power of order of a mod n raised to the power of k. If you take that mod n, a to the power of order is 1, and we have to raise that to the power of k, we get 1. So that's why a to the power of m is 1. So that's actually the easier direction. The former direction is a little bit more complicated. We want to show that a to the power of m congruent to 1 mod n implies that the order of a mod n must divide m. How do we do that? So suppose this is true and assume that that's not the case, that the order divides m. So assume the order of a mod n does not divide m. So what does that mean? It means we can divide, we get a quotient and we get a remainder and the remainder would have to be positive. So we're going to apply the division algorithm. By division algorithm m can be divided by the order of a mod n, it would have some quotient and some remainder for some integers q and r with r being positive because order does not divide it, so the remainder is positive and it is less than the order. Now let's look at a to the power of m. We know that a to the power of m is 1 mod n. So we're going to substitute, we get a to the power of order of a mod n raised to the power of q times a to the power of r, that is 1 mod n. We know that a to the power of order is 1, that's the definition, and 1 to the power of q is also 1. So this gives us a to the power of r is in fact 1 mod n. 
Now, we know that R is less than the order. So that is a contradiction because order was the smallest positive integer that a to the power of that integer is 1. So this contradicts the definition of order of a mod n since r is a positive integer less than the order of a mod n. And therefore, order must divide it. Order of a mod n must divide m. And this completes the proof. Now we're going to go over an example from math competitions. So here's what we're going to do. Suppose n is a positive integer and a is an integer more than 1 prove that n divides phi of a to the power of n minus 1. We are going to prove that order of a mod a to the power of n minus 1 is in fact n. So this is not very difficult to see because two things. First, a to the power of n is in fact 1 mod a to the power of n minus 1. And second, if a to the power of k is congruent to 1 mod a to the power of n minus 1, then a to the power of k minus 1 must be at least a to the power of n minus 1, which means k must be at least n. So that means n is in fact the smallest positive integer that a raised to that positive integer is 1 mod a to the power of n minus 1. Therefore, order of a mod a to the power of n minus 1 is in fact n. Now, by the theorem that we proved, if a to the power of m is 1 mod a to the power of n minus 1, then the order, which is n, must divide m. Now, we know one integer m that satisfies this congress. What do we know? We know by the Euler's theorem, a to the power of phi of this, phi of a to the power of n minus 1, is in fact 1 mod a to the power of n minus 1. So because of that, n, which was the order, must divide phi of a to the power of n minus 1. And notice that a and a to the power of n minus 1 are clearly relatively prime. So that brings me to the end of this video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know if you have other problems you want me to work on. And I will see you in another video.